resting on his shoulders. Lauren Havia Jorge versus the legend. Merko Roca. And the massive, massive. Okay. She got. Applause for Lauren Havia Jorge in the black shorts. Mirko Coke up the southpaw. And in the black and white just, shorts, the young man, just, Lauren, just. Lauren Javier Jorge. I mean, Coke, I mean, he's just huge, isn't he? Wrong. Big guy. Exceptional, you know, he's an exceptional southpaw. He's got heavy high kicks, but not many people out with that high kick, isn't he? Not just in kickboxing either. But, uh. There's that left kick. He tried to cut me out of it. But I could only laugh at it. Reminiscent, reminiscent. There's a high kick. But the high kick, he still shows it that it's still dangerous. Left hand pierces the guard of Jorge from the south pole. Broke up. If this goes into sort of the later part of round two and three, that's when we're going to start to see if Prokop's still got the fitness. Exactly. exactly. He's starting very, very well here. Yeah. Sharp. So good experience. Stop! He's loading up on that Wait. left hand, isn't he? Prokop as well. He wants to finish him off by looks a bit early. Lauren Hardegay. Lauren Hardegay has got a good chin. He really has. He took some blasts of Tyrone Spong and he stood up too well. And if you can do that, you've Wait. got a good chin. Well, you know, it looks like it, it was more being tired than being, being, being hurt in the fight with Tyron. Sneaky uppercut on the inside, and there's that left high kick that everybody enjoys watching from Krokop. Yeah, you can fight from any angle as well. You can step to the side, you can fight in close. Incredible flexibility for such a big guy. Stop! Right. Right. As Ernesto said, is he fit enough to fight this place? Stop! Well, that's it, and uh, that's what I want. Fight! He's breathing heavy already, isn't he, Croco? Oh, he looks a little bit older also, you know, he looks heavier. Oh, how long can he throw that, that, that famous high, left high kick? Oh, so powerful, though, so isn't powerful it? powerful, though. This one hurt on the body. It's the last so thing it. you lose, isn't it, your power? Exactly. It's a, it just doesn't like his time, though, rapidly, doesn't he? Yeah, he doesn't like his time, but it's the age might have took its toll. And uh, he's throwing heavy early as well, to be fair. He's not sort of tapping away, he's, he's going for it. Right. Right. Oh, also, it makes it easier. I mean, I mean, in the beginning of the year, in the years, you move more and everything, but as you get older, you don't want to move that much anymore. You want no. to spend your... Uh, you want to spend your energy in the right way. Yeah. That is when you when you kick or when you punch. Yeah, Common sense. Watching it happen. <laughs> exactly. That's the best. Yeah. And then I'm learning from you now. <laughs> you are best. It's a nice. He's still scoring though, isn't he? Yes. Yes. End of the first round. I mean, was that a game plan from the Spaniard? Round. Was, yeah. it, was that a game plan to soak maybe. up as much damage as maybe. possible, such tire him out, maybe in the latter part of round? Maybe. You know, maybe the youth will come through. Maybe, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll just uh, just have to see. But like correctly said, I mean, he does look sharp. His technique's still there. Yeah, I see that. Like exactly. It. And I think also when you put the pressure, as I said before, putting the pressure is always costs you less energy than being pressured. So I think he did well. Do you miss it, Ernesto? While you sat here with us commentating, do you actually miss being in the ring? No, no? I don't. So you sat actually, I no. I mean. I know I had my time, I know I'm not that good like before, so I don't miss it because if, I, if I'm in the ring, I want to show the best. And oh, I know I cannot please. I know I cannot do that, the, the things I did 10 years ago, so yeah, it's very honest. be realistic. Yeah. Well, round two of this heavyweight contest, Spain versus Croatia, oh. the legend is Mirko Broca. In the black and the black and white, Lauren Xavier Jorge. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's... He's got to start opening up a little bit and trying to sort of put some pressure on because otherwise Krokop will just keep staying there, letting his left kick go. There you go. Looks Look low, that. throws a high kick, clever. He's still scoring, though, isn't he? He's still scoring. Yeah, he's scoring. Stop! 
Oh, that was a nice move. He, he, looks, he looks to his game. legs and then he makes. Wait! Trying to bring the guard down. It's, isn't it? it's really Mirko style, you know? Yeah. It's, go, 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 go. I have to laugh to see when I see that. Very smart, though. Inside, lovely uppercut there. Moves well, doesn't move yeah. around to his right as well to try and load that kick up. Orge here is a. Uh, he's not putting enough pressure on Izzy Hulke, though. No, he's showing too much respect. Oh, that's so oh, hard. Okay. He's really not doing it enough, is he? I mean, you got to give it. You got to give it. Merkel is scoring. What is what I say uh, all along? Not what happened here. What is what I say all along? Uh, Maybe. When you make the left low to the right leg with the right leg, I mean, there's the big chance you're gonna hit. He's just waiting for it, isn't he? All the time, left kick, left kick. But well, he is still scoring that, you know, Krokop is just landing the, the better yeah. of the two, isn't he? Very effective. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're waiting for Laura and like when he's gonna start up. Yeah. Hey! I think he might have been caught by those like, body kicks and he's sort of, you know, sort of shell stroked a little bit Maybe. and those low kicks. Low oh. kicks are venomous, aren't they? You can see it hitting the top of the thigh of Hardigay. Good combinations going in from Krokop. Nice left up, got a big one to the chin. He's got a good chin though. You've got to give him credit, Hardigay. Stop! He's holding and hitting with one. Bringing one goes on. Hey, time's up. His arms hurt. His arms. Think, yeah. He if broke his, arms his arm. Hurt, then basically the referee. I think I don't know the rules that well, but the referee should give okay. him an eight count. Yeah, now he gets an eight count. Now he gets a thirty uh, yeah, count. Hey. A thirty count. So Mirko will go straight for that, though, won't he? He'll go yeah, straight for that. Change. There you go. Yeah. He needs a kick. He'll kick the arm. Good left. Oh, that's a nice up down. Down goes Hardgate. Mirko is a smart guy. Mirko know he hurt him. So Mirko is Four. going to, to put pressure. And yeah. now the 30 Seven. count was in his, his favor. Of course. First eight count down. Down goes the Spaniard. Mirko Krokop won't be denied. He'll still come forward. But back comes Jorge. Pinning him against the ropes. That left up is working so well for it, Krokop. You know, throwing it two or three times. There you go again. Yeah, there he goes. This is going to finish. Three. Deal with the power, no, he can't, and he can't defend One. against the uppercut. He's so Six. strong. Seven. Eight. The Spanish crowd whirled him to his feet, but to no avail. A knockout for the legend, Mirko Krokop. It was a good performance against a young star. Very good move. Massively good impressed. Mirko. He shows that he can still do it. Showed still had huge power, to great technique. Inside, lovely boxing skills. Of really that sharp. Technique. Yeah. It was the left uppercut that did the damage, wasn't it? It was. So strong. Jorge looked like he could go down in weight, though, really, to be honest, yeah. doesn't he? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. we have a winner of this contest. Give it by credit. a knockout in the second round. The winner from the red corner. Yep, there Nicole. you go, then.